as you and I both know, Bitcoin miners emit zero scope one emissions, right? The potential pollution, I mean, it's really non-existent, but people don't understand that. Let's dispel a few other uh, areas of kind of uncertainty or, or in Bitcoin world, we call it FUD, right? Fear, uncertainty, mm -hmm. and doubt. There are those that, would, that think that Bitcoin mining sites are, are emitting pollution into the air simply by having these operations running. Uh, so as, as you and I both know, Bitcoin miners emit zero scope one emissions, right? These machines do use electricity, and sometimes there are emissions that are used from that, uh, the generation of, the, of that electricity uh, kind of upstream of where it gets used. But uh, talk about the 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 noise issues especially with immersion you're really cutting that out talk about like the the pollution the potential pollution i mean it's really non-existent but people don't understand that do you, do you guys have studies done have you been able to demonstrate that to the local communities yeah so uh the, the new york times amongst you know other critics in the past have talked about the carbon emissions of bitcoin mining of course these machines do not admit carbon emissions. Okay, uh, and, and so right now we're talking about scope one emissions. It's just straight air that comes through them. It's just, it's just straight you air. Can so. Breathe it just as well as you can breathe the air we're breathing now. Exactly. So Riot's uh, VP of Research, Pierre Richard, did a study on this to confirm that you know we have a video out on this to confirm that in fact there's not emissions coming out of these machines. They're just fans blowing air, uh, just like your computer at home does not emit uh, carbon. Uh, these machines do not emit carbon. So as you noted, the criticism comes from the scope two emissions, and that, which is, you know, what is the carbon um, carbon footprint of the generation sources? I think this is another case where it is Bitcoin mining is being selectively targeted just to attack it on this front because you don't see other uses of energy being looked at this way. Uh, for example, I, I don't know if you have, I've rarely heard anyone talk about the carbon emissions of electric cars. I hear people talk about electric cars as how they're reducing carbon emissions. Of course, you know, they're using energy as well, which is going to have some type of carbon output. Um, there's also been a criticism uh, when, you, when you look at uh, people have, who have uh, criticized Bitcoin for it, Bitcoin mining for its scope to emissions. They try to claim that it's, you know, 95, 99% carbon under some crazy math that uh, doesn't hold up to any scrutiny, which is why they've never published it. In fact, we're just buying energy from the, the Urquhart grid, which we talked about earlier. His, the, the largest supplier of wind power in uh, the nation, uh, solar growing tremendously. About one third of this energy is uh, renewable at any given time. And uh, that's, you know, one of our energy source, that's, the grid that we're buying from. So um, Bitcoin miners are just like any other electrical uh, buyer, energy buyer, we're buying from the grid. And um, I think it's important to look at energy consumption and, and, and use and analyze it that way. These machines do not emit uh, any carbon as much as your computer, your electric vehicle, or a you know traditional data center emits any CO2. Uh, we buy energy from the grid, and it's one of the greenest grids in the United States. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe. Click over here for more content, and we'll see you next time.